Okay, now that uh, technically I retired from bowling, uh, the sport I love, the gambling part of it that just always blew my mind uh, at the tender age of 22. What a foolish move. But anyway, uh, listen, if I ever seem to get a little confused, it's because I don't chart this, I don't uh, rehearse it, I don't uh, block it out, I don't do any of that stuff. Uh, you know I had cable shows, I never did it either, and maybe, maybe that was silly, but that's just me. Uh, anyway, what's going to be coming up is uh, we're going to uh, eventually, very soon, get to my comeback year, 1976, when I was involved, <laughs> really, for one year, big time action, the biggest backers, some of the craziest characters, uh, it was really a great year, but uh, after that we're going to do, I guess what we call either flashbacks or uh, sidebars or whatever crazy name I come up with. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, my life in Bay Ridge, uh, Brooklyn, between 6 and 10 years old. It's kind of like the old Bowery bums. Uh, I had my own little gang, the crap we pulled, the things we did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, right after I got hitched, uh, uh, I was working in the post office, and from there I uh, went to work on Wall Street. Uh, that was quite a unique, I mean, <laughs> really <laughs> crazy, but uh, I actually became a supervisor manager there. But uh, I packed that all in in 1970 uh, for reasons you'll understand later on. Uh, but in the meantime, also in that time period, I had some great business opportunities that I just blew off. I mean, so ridiculous. Uh, my father wanted to open up a bar restaurant right right on the main road leading into uh, West Point. Beautiful, beautiful country right across the street from a big bowling alley. And uh, I didn't go into that because <laughs> at the time I was investing with my good pal Paul. We were doing um, these exploitation films at the time. Uh, he had an office uh, on 7th Avenue over to Carnegie, and I had plums dancing in my head and everything else, and uh, that's a great story. Uh, I also had an opportunity with a good friend of mine, Brother Benson. He offered me, and this is hard to believe, a total partnership in a private sanitation business in Rockland County. Uh, you'll find out why he offered it to me and what an idiot I was to turn this down. Uh, 1970, I bought a cab company, cab company, two cabs uh, uh, with medallions, the whole thing completely legitimate, uh, had that for 10 years, and uh, in 1980, uh, Paul opened up a uh, paper bag business, took me in as a partner, uh, we'll go through that whole thing. Mid 80s, I became a, uh, a high roller in Atlantic City, uh, you'll find out where that went, how it ended, but what a life. I mean, I was in Brooklyn still at the time, and the limos that would take me out there, whether it be Caesars or Resorts, Sahara's, uh, uh, all of the best shows, great uh, great seats, I mean, the best seats in the house, uh, all of the gourmet restaurants, this was wheeling the deal, and I was going down there every two weeks for a three-day stay. Uh, after that, I get involved in uh, the Party and Picnic Warehouse, which was uh, the pre-runner for Party City and all. They copied us. We had the first concept of what a party warehouse was and to make that a business within itself. Uh, also in that time period, went into the entertainment business, uh, booking uh, great bands from Brooklyn into the lounges of Atlantic City, and they were kicking ass, so let me tell you. <laughs> uh, then in the 90s, got involved in, well, <laughs> this is crazy because this isn't me, and I don't even know why, but uh, started my own cable shows. Uh, we had uh, Hole in the Wall, uh, which I did with Robert Santa, who was involved with Andrew Dice Clay his whole career. Uh, uh, he, uh, it was his band, the Brooklyn Bad Boys, that backed up uh, Andrew, and a lot of great stories there. Uh, also, Ring Fever. Now, let me tell you, th this was some operation. I dreamed it up, the name, got it, got into it. This was uh, with pro wrestling, 
We had a direct in with Vince McMahon, Madison Square Garden. We had our own cable show, which became very popular. Uh, we had what we call roundtable meetings. We had hundreds of people come and attended to us at Fun Time USA. All the top wrestling stars in the world we were involved in, they came to our events. And uh, we had a multi-million dollar backer from Jersey. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you how I fouled that all up. Uh, I have websites uh, about gambling. I did very well as an affiliate with uh, Party Poker, taking in a lot of money each week. Uh, uh, it just goes on and on and on. And I'm going to go into depth with my uh, businesses and relationships with uh, uh, four or five main people in my life. I was very lucky in that respect. But that's just a, a little roundabout thing about what's coming your way.